Greetings to my team of 144, all star seeds, love workers, and way showers. It is 10262019, October 26, 2019. Many waves coming in today, a lot of energy flowing, a lot of chi flowing through the field. Today the Schumann spiked at 25 hertz, yesterday was 50 hertz. As these solar waves are coming in now fully, as we're feeling them through our avatar, through our rainbow bridge, the seven chakras. It was another big day for activations, as the sacred portal in Australia was activated at Uluru, which part of today's transmission is about this activation and transformation that's going on through the solar plexus of Gaia as we reconnect to the central sun. Many synchronicities today again, every day now. These codes are coming through the field, coming through our consciousness, coming into our awareness. The 144, multiple times today coming through. The 77, the 44. And as I connected with Divine Goddess, Sacred Feminine, in Beirut, Lebanon, of the Divine 44, as she's anchoring the highest codes, the highest love, the highest light into the grid in Sacred Lebanon, as we uplift all life, all consciousness, people are rising up against the tyranny, against the control mechanism, against the construct. Now, people I've talked to that watch the media said that they're not reporting on these things. I myself don't watch the news, but people that do said they're, they haven't heard any mention of all these uprisings. Chile, there was tens of thousands of people in the streets today. Beirut, uh, the divine feminine in Beirut, said that the city's been closed down for four days. People are rising up. All over the world, Hong Kong still uprisings, riots and that for over 19 weeks now. And this just keeps going through as consciousness is rising and people are done with the old construct, the false matrix and the control mechanisms of the malevolent energies or entities, we can call them. The collective has had enough. They're done with that story of the Babylonian debt slavery system, of the separation programming and of the slavery mindset. So they are rising up. Humanity is done with that old story, ready to create a new story, which is what these activation portals are manifesting. So today we'll do a short meditation. Now the image on this video is this sacred rock in Australia, in the heart of Australia, called Uluru, the sacred rock from the native tribes there of the Aborigines. So as we sit, we'll start with the ringing of the bell. So put your awareness in the heart center, in the center of your vessel, the sacred temple. As you sit with a gently straight spine, close your eyes, relax the mind, and with a deep breath in the nose, fill the abdomen, the lower dantian, with sacred chi, and as you exhale, release, let go. Let go into the stillness. Let go into the void. Let go, let go, let go. Becoming more relaxed, more at ease. With each breath you take, you go deeper and deeper, deeper within, into the stillness, into the silence. More relaxed, more at ease, more at peace. And as you breathe out, release the old, the false, all negative thoughts, all negative feelings, all negative emotions. Releasing, letting go. You can see that as breathing out a black mist. As we breathe in to the body, filling the vessel with the sacred white light of source, great spirit. As we go deeper and deeper into that still white light, in the solar plexus chakra, in the center of the body, visualize the sacred monument, the sacred temple of Uluru, the red rock the sacred Australian outback in the heart of Australia and see from emanating from sacred Uluru in your solar plexus, see it connect through the sacred red cord to the sun and from the sun to the central sun and through the central sun into source, Hunabku, the great mystery. And feel that connection, see it, feel it, experience it, 
as you become one with Source, remembering your true self, your true identity, your pure awareness, and feel that connection through the heart of Gaia, through the solar plexus of Gaia, through your solar plexus, through the rainbow bridge as we connect all timelines, all dimensions, to the here now, through this center, the sacred internal Uluru. So you can pause this video and sit with that energy for a while. Let it emanate through your vessel, through your rainbow bridge, from the crown, through the dantians, and out the hoi yin, at the base of the spine, and back up around the toroidal field. Aho, aho, aho. Mitteyako, yes, and with your mind, your awareness, and your heart center, we begin today's transmissions. Uluru activations from Catherine Kinney. Prepare for a solar plexus activation bigger and more impactful than we have ever experienced on this planet in known history. When Uluru gets fully activated and switched on by the local indigenous custodians, the Anungu people, and supporting visitors from 26 October for five days after being able to climb it has been closed to the public, according to senior star lore elder, precious grandmother, and custodian of Uluru, Uluru Auntie Nellie Patterson. This is the time for the Jukurpa Polka, the creation lore, creation time dreaming, and the new way dreaming. This powerful activation will also mean that there will be a blast of divine light and activational energy sent through the song lines of the planet, connecting all of the earth chakras together, especially one of the major ener energetic arteries and song lines, the rainbow serpent, representing divine feminine energy to many. According to Robert Kuhn, the line starts from Uluru, the solar plexus, and travels through Bali, World Purification Center, to Glastonbury, Heart and Third Eye Chakras, to Lake Titicaca, Sacral Chakra, and then back around and through to Uluru. This is all in preparation for the Saturn-Pluto-Mercury-Sun quadruple conjunction in Sagittarius 13-star sign astrology on 12th of January 2020, which will be the energetic completion of an ancient ceremony, Galtawadi, connecting to Uluru that was interrupted a long time ago. According to Ghun, the great Galtawadi cord was constructed between Uluru and the sun. This will culminate in the reactivation of the solar umbilical cord of planet Earth with the sun and the great central sun on 12th of January 2020 an ideal event for creating an archetypal communicative link between the sun and the earth, a reestablishment of the connection between heaven and earth, so that we can physically manifest and experience heaven on earth and fully embrace the golden age. According to Kuhn, between now and 12th of January 2020, the cord can be strengthened through meditations and creative acts for anyone who works with Oluru for this purpose. And I am performing these regularly in Glastonbury to strengthen the connection between the heart, third eye, and solar plexus chakra along the rainbow serpent song line. Game on, bring on the activations. From Catherine Kinney, shared with love by Pars Kutay. And the image is sacred Uluru sunset and rainbow 
captured by Steve Strike. And from Christina Papagiorgio, a new day dawns at Uluru as she regains her sovereignty. Spiritual significance of this evolutionary day. And it is a great day, brothers and sisters. An auspicious day for all humanity. As the sun rose over Uluru this morning, on the first day since Anangu people closed the climb, traditional owner Sammy Wilson said the rock would finally have a well-earned rest. Small groups of people were walking quietly around the base in and out of the spinifex. Police and park rangers stationed in the climb car park said it was an eerily quiet morning after the hubbub of the past several months. For Sammy Wilson, the day had been a long time coming, a day of reflection. I am thinking about all the old people who waited for this day to arrive and who held Jukurpa, a Nangu law, strong, he said. Phew, the elders are coming through. Can you feel it, brothers and sisters? Our great ancestors, feel it in your heart center. The sacred elders, Shinadan, the rock will be resting, so we will feel rested. We often ask, what is it tourists are looking for in doing that climbing? We'd like to show them what the place is really about and for them to learn and understand from Anangu. Today, October 26, 2019, marks the historic day that Uluru, our beloved magnetic monolith in Australia's Great Red Center, is officially closed to climbers scouring her backbone. Uluru is sacred land and our sacred natural cathedral, as sacred as Notre Dame is to the French people, highly significant to the traditional indigenous people of Australia. This moment in our global history is very significant energetically as Uluru, geographically located in the center of Australia's continent, is the magnetic heart chakra of Australia the oldest continent on our planet. Uluru Rock is composed of Arcos, a coarse-grained sandstone rich in the mineral feldspar. The sandy sediment which hardened to form this Arcos was eroded from high mountains composed largely of granite. So Uluru is highly conductive of earth energies, radiating them out globally like a giant antenna. She pulses out her magnetic love to all her children scattered over the globe. They, call, they feel her call and are magnetically drawn to visit her. Once smitten, their heart chakras are ignited and awakened. Upon their return home, they carry the seed of magnetic love within their heart from which they can then ignite the hearts of other souls like a flame of endless love. I had the absolute honor of finally connecting with Uluru up close and personal in 2007 in an unforgettable journey of discovery. Finally, after 20 years of wanting to visit her, conducting seven ceremonies on 772007 was the ultimate euphoric and dreamtime experience as we delved into this magical landscape and uncovered her mysteries. When I asked Mother Uluru if she was offended by the hordes of tourists arriving by the busload in droves like ants to a picnic and then disappearing as quickly as they had appeared, she replied, I welcome and love all my children from throughout the globe, from near and far, as each soul takes me home within their hearts and they are forever changed. So like a gigantic magnet, Uluru summons her children to visit her. I also asked her how she felt about having these ants scouring her backbone, and she replied that it was not favorable, but she tolerated it like an obliging mother, though the tragic deaths of the climbers deeply saddened in her. Uluru is also the center of dreaming land, which holds the codes for 5D Earth. Woven by her rainbow serpent throughout her global dance, the rainbow serpent resides within the body of Uluru like a coiled, quivering, and oscillating vibratory field. Uluru herself holds double dragon energy, as she is one of the Earth's original 13 dragons. Uluru's magnetic, magnetic force is powerfully hypnotic and alluring drawing you in through a trance-induced state. Once you set eyes upon her, you cannot stop looking at her. I felt her pull the moment airplane doors were opened and her vibratory energy streamed into the cabin space, beckoning me. As American travel writer Bill Bryson wrote, he had an indefinable recognition. He felt he knew this rock. 
somewhere in the deep sediment of your being, some long dormant fragment of primordial memory, some little severed tail of DNA has twitched or stirred. Uluru has an importance to you at the species level. Within her mysterious body, beyond the veils, you can look into another dimension and marvel at the wonders that are revealed to those who approach her with respect and the pure reverence that she deserves. Uluru is also the solar plexus chakra or power center, the navel of our planetary body. Gaia, Gaia has chakras just like us. Uluru and her mate, Katu Juta, influence the healthy and vitality of the whole planet communicating these health-giving frequencies to the entirety of the global body. She does this by accumulating and grounding the Mars energies for the planet into her body. So energetically, her position is very important in holding these chakras clear and balanced for Mother Gaia without energetic toxins and pollutants. Robert Kuhn has been a pioneer in documenting the route of Gaia's Kundalini through the intertwined dance of rainbow feminine and feathered masculine serpents throughout her planetary chakras, vortices, and ley lines. And you could take a look at that on earthchakras.org. Chakra 3, Uluru and Katajuta. These twin sites in the Northern Territory, Australia, comprise the World Solar Plexus Chakra. Uluru, formerly known as Ayers Rock, is the more famous of the two. She is the feminine aspect, while Katajuta, also called the Olgas, is her masculine aspect. Rather than one monolith, this site consists of a large number of massive red stones. The global function of the chakra is to maintain the vitality of the earth and all living species. In the future, if there is a world art of immortal health, then the wisdom of this art will be gained from Chakra 3 in Central Australia. This wisdom is delivered to the rest of the world via the lay artery, the rainbow serpent. The rainbow serpent travels the path of life. It arises from deep beneath the surface, surface of the earth and first emerges at Uluru. The Uluru magic is then transmitted to Katajuta via a special song line which exits Uluru on its western side from the cave of the Hari Wallaby, Malaputa. Once in the natural cathedral of Katajuta, the universal vitality force is shaped into the various designs suited to the many different species of life on Earth. After the packaging of solar plexus energies in the Valley of the Winds, the rainbow serpent leaves this area from the large heart-shaped stone, Gungara, scarlet fuchsia, and travels on to Bali. Chakra 2 energies from Lake Titicaca are directly sent to Chakra 3, Uluru and Katajuta via the World Lay Artery, the Rainbow Serpent, which crosses the South Pacific Ocean, sweeps underneath New Zealand, and enters the Australian mainland at Wilson's Promontory. In the ancient creation legends of Dreamtime, there is a story about a great ritual which has yet to be completed at Uluru. This ritual was meant to complete the great plan of the earth spirit. When the ritual is complete, then perfection will spread throughout the world and death will disappear from all species. This event is symbolized by a great pole or cosmic umbilical cord, which is destined to unite the sun with the earth, heaven with earth. It is predicted that this cord begins to function in 2020 AD at the time of the rare Saturn-Pluto conjunction. Note, Boone says this planetary solar umbilical cord was etherically constructed on July 8, 1990 as the product of ritual and earth spirit. He predicts it will be fully activated on January 13, 2020 with the grand conjunction of Saturn, Pluto, Mercury, and the Sun in Capricorn when an archetypal communicative link occurs between the Sun and the Earth. He made this prediction last century. News flash: I just discovered that the January 13th, 2020 is Red Electric Serpent Day. OMG, the most powerful serpent of them all. A sure confirmation of the planetary serpent energies being recharged and ignited by the Grand Conjunction. So planetary kin, it is divine timing that Uluru is closed to climbers and her honor and vitality is returned. She is finally healed. This historic evolutionary event has been time with the cycle of the red serpent 
which is healing our personal vitality and that of our mother Gaia. We are intricately connected through our umbilical cords to this planetary life force. This is a monumentous planetary milestone for our success and our journey, journey to immortality and healing dis-ease on a personal and planetary level. Namaste, divine blessings and celebrations. Christina, Earth Priestess, White Magnetic World Bridger. So this is a monumental event, brothers and sisters of the light. Uluru is fully activated now, and you may feel it in the solar plexus chakra, in the center of your divine vessel, your sacred vessel, the avatar, the sacred temple. From Elizabeth, Peru, spirit travel and our dreams. Have you noticed that your so-called dreams are extra real this week? When you wake up, are you convinced that what you've just experienced really happened, no matter how surreal? If so, you're not alone. Now that we're operating under a 5D energy template on Earth, the divide between your waking and sleeping reality is transparent. You can literally see and feel dimensions melt into one another, and you, soul being, have conscious access to your true abilities. October, a great life cleanse. What a profound energy is sweeping the globe right now. If you've been reflecting on your soul's journey and how you got to be where you are right now, congratulations. You're right in the current 5D into 3D integration flow. We're going in deep before the new moon. And from Gaia Portal today, the code, the transmission is, flashes of the white sceneries are viewed in awe. Castle Highlands present and are glorified in the emerald light. Fortifications dissolve. Highest peaks are viewed. Climbers are engaged. And from the Zolkin Times, White Lunar World Bridger. Lunar is the name for the number two, and its key words are polarize, stabilize, and challenge. And so now we enter the 10-day portal day extravaganza. The second day of any wave spell is tough because we must face the hurdles presented to us and overcome them in order to proceed. The second day of a wave spell like this, where there are 10 portal days in a row, this is tougher still because so much depends on identifying those challenges. And if one wishes to experience this intense and powerful wave spell at its most beneficial, we must prepare for it accordingly. Today is White World Bridger, which represents death, opportunity, and equality. The Lunar World Bridger is the gatekeeper guarding this journey, and before you are permitted entry, you must take this opportunity to let go, allow a part of you to die so that you are fit to take this sacred journey. The guide today is the White Mirror, which represents reflecting truth. If you allow the truth to be your guiding force, you will have no issues with crossing the bridge. Be brutally honest with yourself about what needs to die. Is it ego? Is it fear? Anything that holds you back or prevents you from being a lighter being has to go. You simply cannot advance further with all that baggage. Take a good look in the mirror today and set yourself free with the truth. And from the Dream Spell Journey by Valon Votan and Balonik, Kin 106, entering the alpha sequence of 10 gap days, galactic activation portals. Today's Kin 106, Lunar World Bridger, opens to the 10 consecutive days of galactic activation portals of the Serpent Wave Spell. Kin 106 is a mirror of the ancient Maya sign of 2 Kimi, 2 Death, which is one of the 13 clear signs inscribed on the sarcophagus lid of Pakal Votan, as decoded by the Telectinon Prophecy, presented by Valon Votan and Balonik. Precisely today's Kin 106 is synchronizing with 8 Ajaw, 8 Sun, in the ancient Maya Zolkan count real time, the birth sign of King Pakal of Lakama. Palenk. The Pakal Votan archetype is Telectinon, 26 October 2019, NS1.32.4.9, Ken 106, 106 White Lunar World Bridger, Galactic Activation Portal. The mantra for the day, the code is, I polarize in order to equalize, stabilizing opportunity. I seal the store of death with the lunar tone of challenge. I am guided by the power of endlessness. I am a galactic activation portal. Enter me. Harmonic 27, self-existing store. Remember elegance of form. 
And as we're being activated, brothers and sisters, we are remembering who we are, why we came here, and what our missions are as light workers, love workers, warriors of the light, walking our path with heart, living from our heart center, being connected to all things, all beings, and all realms, all timelines, all dimensions, no separation. As we remerge, rebirth into this new earth, as we manifest it from our heart centers. So let us know what you're feeling, what you're thinking, 717 coming through, what you're experiencing today and in these final days of the old matrix, of the construct of the matrix. As we transition through the 19-day cycle into Mercury in retrograde, the new moon coming up on the 28th into the Mercury retrograde on the 31st, which is All Hallows' Eve. As we transition into the 1111 portal, some may be calling the silver activation, the silver portal, into the golden portal of 1212, the sacred divine feminine portal, into the 1221, which is the final solstice, the stillness of the sun of the old false matrix, as we transition into the new earth of 2020 of perfect vision, perfect sight, as the eyes of the Spirit open, and as we remember all things. So be sure to subscribe to the channel below, click the little bell next to the subscribe button for notifications on our updates. I try to put these out every day, best as I can. I'd like to also thank everyone that has joined me on the mission for the Healing Retreat Center in Ecuador, South America, the Healing Retreat Center, in the sacred divine foothills of the blessed Andes Mountains. You can join us on raising funds for this mission with a CBD business at cbdpeaceoil.com. I'll put the link in the description below if you want to learn more about this healing center blueprint and sustainable community. You can go to primedisclosure.com and click on Dao de Ecuador Healing Retreat Center at the top of the page to learn more about this mission and my vision for this. So thank you for joining me today, beloved beings of light. I love you all. Namaste.